Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Pre-Accident Investigation Safety Moment. I'm Todd Conklin. Hope you're having the best day ever. That's uh, kind of my order to you, nonetheless. Today, we're going to talk about zero. Zero is complicated. Zero makes the math difficult. Zero implies perfection. Zero is the absence of everything. Zero is a concept that's even relatively new in math. And we've taken it on as a moniker in safety to be the only acceptable moral goal any company can ever have. We argue whether zero is even possible. We argue whether zero is capable. We talk about how long it's taken us to get zero into our conversations. And now we're going to talk about zero again. Zero as a safety goal is not bad. Zero is not awful. In fact, zero is morally right. There's no question. Big moral right. I mean, it it just is. The problem is, is that telling people to have zero accidents does not tell people how to have zero accidents. And that's where the safety moment picks up. I don't know what your company feels about your quest, journey, trip, goal for zero, I'm not here to even change that, but I am here to tell you one important difference, and I think we've sort of lost control of that. Zero is an outcome. It's not a process. Zero is the goal we want to achieve. Zero is how the story ends, but zero is not how the story is told. And so my challenge to you is to realize that in your quest for zero, what you've done is set the standard at perfection. You're now managing safety as an outcome, and you're no longer managing safety as a process that's constantly being bombarded with variability and complexities and degrading and shifting and changes and weather and context and conditions. Please understand that zero is where the story ends it's not how the story is told and that difference is very important to us in our understanding of zero now i could talk for a long time and we could argue and have challenges and tear up and laugh and sing and cry and all those kind of things but really what we want to say is that we can't tell people to have zero without giving them the processes, the control, the power, the energy, the sense-making along the way to create an environment where the outcome of no injuries, no harm is possible. But the outcome of no injuries, no harm, zero, is managed by managing many, many small detections and corrections along the way. Still use zero if you need to. Still talk about the fact that nobody should get hurt. Those are really important messages. And morally, I think that's exactly the conversation we want to have and we should have. But remember, the moral quest for zero should not erode the processes and procedures that manage safety not as an outcome, but as a part of doing work every day, every time a worker interfaces with the job. That is the safety moment for today. Zero is the outcome to be achieved. Getting to zero is much different than having no accidents. Have fun. Learn something new every day. And for goodness sakes, be safe.